Right, here we got some questions from a year 10 test, um, mainly on y equals mx plus c, but some other questions too. So we've got a straight line equation here, and it has 2y minus 6x equals 5, and we want to find the gradient of the line. Every time you're looking for the gradient of the line, you've got to think to yourself, y equals mx plus c. Um, what does that mean? Well, we've got m here. That is the gradient of the line. And we've got C here. And that is the where it crosses the y-axis. And you have to learn this. And one thing to note, a common mistake, is to think the x is attached to the gradient. It's nothing to do with it. It's just the value of m. So what we need to do is we need to make y the subject. We need to get y on its own. So let's do that. Let's add 6x to both sides, and we get 2y equals 5 plus 6x. Well, we like to have the x first. Let's just change the order of that to get 2y equals 6x plus 5, because we want the x bits first. Divide throughout by 2, so 2y divided by 2 is y. 6 lots of x divided by 2 is 3x. And 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So where is our m bit? Here it is. Our m bit is just here. So m is just equal to 3, and nothing else. No x, just 3. The gradient is 3. Um, what does the gradient mean? It means for every one unit we go along, we're going to go 3 units up. That's what our gradient means. And if there's negatives, so it's minus 3, it means we go 3 units down. Let's move on to the next part of the question. We're told that the point k6 lies on this line. Let's find the value of k in this question. So k is the x value and 6 is the y value. Let's put those in. Put them in and let's find them. Actually, I think it's easier to put them in the starting question. I know you might disagree, um, but let's put them in. So we've got k is the x value and y is the 6. So we've got 2 times 6 minus 6 times k will equal 5. So we get 12 minus 6k equals 5. Let's take the 6k to the other side again like we did before. So we get 12 equals 5 plus 6k. Take away the 5 from both sides. And we get 7 equals 6k. Therefore divide both sides by 6. We get 7 over 6 equals k. And that's how you find k. If we put it into here, notice it won't make any difference. It's still the same equation. Let's put the y as 6 there. 3 times k plus 2.5. 2.5 away from 6 will give us 3.5. Divide by 3, you get 3.5 over 3 equals k. And you can see, if you times the top by 2, you get 7. And if you times the bottom by 2, you get 6. It's exactly the same fraction. And then therefore, this comes out with just nice numbers in our answer, if you do the original equation.